Public participation is essential to effective community planning. Not only does it provide citizens the opportunity to influence the decisions that affect their lives, actively listening to various viewpoints within your community will help you make better decisions. This video will cover some helpful tips for providing meaningful public engagement, as well as tips for effective planning commissions. When preparing comprehensive plans or development regulations, the Washington State Growth Management Act calls for early and continuous public participation. In other words, make sure there are opportunities for the public to be meaningfully involved during each phase of the process. While there may be periods of time when your jurisdiction is not soliciting for public comments or holding meetings, for example, when previous input is being analyzed or considered, do be sure to consistently and clearly advertise your public participation timeline and how public input will be gathered and used. One of the most frequently asked questions at the short course is, how do we get the public involved? Well, making use of a variety of techniques, everything from using your web page to social media to holding neighborhood meetings is always key. And here are some other tips. When speaking to the public, be clear about whether you are speaking for yourself or representing an official body. Reach out to correct misinformation. Make sure people have the facts. One of the best ways to help stakeholders get involved is to go where they are and present information at other community meetings, such as neighborhood organizations, Chamber of Commerce, or League of Women Voters. This can help people prepare to provide their testimony and also build community trust and understanding and a broad perspective. At every stage of the process, do be sure to let the public know what their level of involvement would be. For example, is this an opportunity to provide one-way comment or will they be participating in a collaborative charrette? Always let them know how their input will be used to make decisions and carefully craft your messages so that they relate to people's lives and avoid technical jargon. If you are a member of the public, you should feel welcome to participate in planning processes. Keep in mind, planning often happens in stages. There's often more opportunity to affect development in an area at the long-range planning stage when visions, plans, and regulations are crafted rather than at the permitting stage where decisions will be based on adopted codes. Take advantage of opportunities to participate, and when you do, here's some tips. Share how the issue affects you and or citywide goals. Be concise and be respectful. If you don't understand an issue or how to get involved, don't be shy to contact staff in your jurisdiction. They can provide helpful information. Now, let's move on to best practices for planning commissioners. First, let me say thank you for being a planning commissioner. You provide a vital link between the community, the city council, and the staff. Being a planning commissioner is a big commitment, and it's not always easy. Here are some tips to help you make the best use of your time. In most cases, when you join a planning commission, it already has established bylaws and meeting procedures to help things run smoothly. Understanding these are essential. Planning commission typically work with staff and elected officials to create an annual work plan and each local community will have a different process for this. Once complete, your work plan should be made publicly available. If you have a web page, post it there. An effective chairperson is very important to ensure that the meeting goes smoothly. He or she works with professional staff in advance of each meeting to build the agenda and consider any special procedures that may need to be used to ensure that the meeting runs smoothly. An effective planning commissioner should come to each meeting prepared, so read your packet before you get there. When listening to the public or other planning commissioners, be calm, be polite, and be patient. When deliberating, focus on adopted decision criteria. Keep long-term community goals in mind, as well as the issues presented during the hearing. Speak in clear terms and provide a rationale for your vote. Treat commissioners who may not agree with you with civic respect. Finally, remember that planning issues enliven all kinds of emotions in people, so don't take things too personally. Here's some tips to make your meetings more efficient. First of all, show up to each meeting. 
This will ensure that there's a quorum present so the body can take action, as well as help you stay abreast of evolving issues. Agendas and reports should be made available to you and the public at least several days in advance. Encourage staff to provide objective, thorough, and easy to understand written and oral reports, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Stay on task by following the agenda, adopted bylaws, and procedures. Allow all members to voice their opinions and ask questions of each other, too. Planning staff can provide guidance when needed and ensure that equipment such as microphones or projectors are working properly so that all meeting attendees can hear and see what is happening. After closing a public hearing, the Planning Commission should discuss and move toward making a recommendation. Do not seek new evidence after the hearing is closed, although argument and discussion among commissioners at a public meeting may be allowed. Typical steps in a deliberation include identify important issues, identify the criteria for making the decision, discuss recommended options, determine positions and or consensus for action, make a motion and always state the reasons for your vote. Final recommendations should be based on adopted criteria and plans and take into consideration the analysis and public testimony received. Elected officials will make the final decision and they do rely on your hard work and the record of your process and rationale.